Yo, El Toy News, November 30th, 2011, continues with on YouTube with UK. They expelled Iranian diplomats in their embassy in the UK because of the incident that happened yesterday with those Iranian youth who stormed into the UK embassy in Tehran and stone start stolen and destroying property including the picture frame and picture of Queen Elizabeth the second now in a parliament meeting to address that issue especially to the Prime Minister David Cameron one of the conservatives was very upset he said those bloody fools they had make me angry what did they do they are just absurd their behavior is very absurd and I was very angry when they did that and I was very I hate when they took the picture frame and the picture of the Queen Elizabeth II oh long live the Queen and oh, they took it out and that's a bloody shame they should be out of here get them out get them out please you know they get really excited when they speak in the parliament and he was banging the table like he was uh, the uh, speaker like hey you bloody man you bloody man are you very upset at them here they are they watch some of these old TV well, what talking about what they did what we did to Iran made them slaves no we did not I was just angry I'm angry at those young punks oh, bloody shame oh, I want to go right now and, uh, and calm myself down with some tea, herbal grey tea. Mmm, yeah, whatever you have, a herbal grey tea. Uh, oh, I'm okay. And that's what's happening. Right now, they should be at Heathrow Airport. waiting for their flights to go to Tehran and guess what the planes are available and even if Iceland have a volcano erupting it's still okay because they can fly the other way they'll say hurry up and sit them right now hurry up they make me mad Bloody mad! I will fight for my great grandfather in Britain who worked side by side with King George. <laughs> so that's what's going on. Well, get ready for a good fight. I'll be back. Let's go into the U.S. And what did Conrad Murray received for his sentence? Coming up next on the LTL Editorial News.